The purpose of this video is to show you how to repair a modified bitumen roof in two different ways. So it's very cold today and I don't have an assistant with a camera. So I'm setting up my iPhone on one side and I'm using the Nikon. Um, this video is about roof repairs. I'm going to show you how to do a roof repair on a modified bitumen roof. There are two ways to approach it and I'm going to show you both ways. First I'm going to just tell you the principles and show you how a modified bitumen torch down roof is done. This is a small uh, sample area. I already pre-cut my material. It's all cut to size and small just for the video purpose. Alright, first of all if you have a, a, a roof, let's do it this way, move this, so let's assume this is your wall, a corner of your wall, maybe on a deck or somewhere, and a gutter is towards where the camera is. Let's assume this is the wall, and this is your plywood deck. First of all, there should be a base paper down. Now this particular base paper is called a peel and stick. I do recommend a peel and stick base paper for any modified roof, but you can use the other regular uh, fiberglass base paper too. The peel and stick is better if you are a homeowner or somebody wants to do it yourself. Use a peel and stick and you will never have a leak. What a peel and stick does is you peel back this plastic from the back. And it sticks to the roof, to the deck. And that sticks to the deck like that. Okay? And the same on this side. You remove this. And once you do that, this will stick to the plywood. This is not sticky today. It's very cold. It's 32 degrees today. This will stick to the deck. And as soon as I put a torch or heat this up, it will stick. Now, get this out of the way. Once you got your peel and stick down, you probably want to do then put some flashing down. So I already pre-cut this and we're gonna put the flashing down there. This is a drip edge I use, commercial size drip edge, three inches by three inches. And your flashing is there. You may have pre-existing flashing and you will not be able to put your peel and stick underneath the flashing. But essentially that's what you want to do. You can nail the flashing to the wall and you can nail it to the roof there as well, at the bottom. So don't worry about nailing through the flashing. That's, you're supposed to. Once you got your flashing down, you want to get your material ready. So got your first so you're walking you're working from the gutter towards the roof or towards the wall so let's say I'm starting there and I make sure it comes right to the edge there and this is where my my layers are coming of the cap sheet the final membrane I'm gonna show you how it's done okay so normally you lay out the whole roll like you lay the whole roll out like this and you roll back half of it to halfway of the roof. You don't roll back the entire roll because you want to get it in line. And once you got it in line, then you, you heat up this very little because this is that sticks very easily. There's a plastic, there's a little plastic foam on this, and there's plastic on this base sheet. And once you melt the plastic off, it will stick. Let me show you. Let me show you. I'm going to pull it back. Look how it sticks. You can almost not pull it back. See that? And I didn't do much. It's cold today. It's 32 degrees. I come 
and I roll this back from this side. This is how you do a torch down roll. You roll this back to where you started, to this side, and down, you cannot pull this apart. Once this is torched like this, you cannot pull it apart from a, a peel and stick base. So that is the base system. Now, let's do the final one that the cap sheet that will come to the wall. We do this. And it's, all right. Right there. Right. So, the same thing here. Very hard to work on a small area like this. Okay. So, here's the principles. Oh, let's see. It's out of shape. Alright, something like that. Here's the principle. You don't want to use your torch against this wall or this wall. And I'm going to show you how you can tie this membrane to the flashing without having to torch to the flashing. And we have a secret we never reveal to anybody, but you're going to see it. So I'm rolling this back. And I'm going to torch only this section, not the flash. I'll show you. And the seam. Okay? I'm, the, the seam you have to melt a little bit more than normal. Right, so I didn't make this hot enough, but this is a different material. All right, so now I stuck this. I do the same here. Roll this back. Oopsie. That's a small area. Made a mess. how it oozes out there it's getting softer all right you want to see how it melts into the two membranes melts together you can never take this apart okay now here's the idea so as I said you don't want to put a torch against the siding here. So what I do is I peel back the side, the edge that I didn't torch down from the drip edge and then, I don't know if you can see this, I use this special, special top. Now if you, this is the only tar that you can use on a modified by tumen. If you read on it, it says modified by tumen adhesive. If a roofing contractor uses anything else, they're not doing it right. If they use stuff from um, Home Depot or uh, Lowe's, they're not going to do it right. It's Henry, Bulldog, and there are many other brands that will never work properly. You need Carnac. I just want to stress this in a video. If, you don't, if you're going to do a repair or any roofing with modified, you need to use Carnet. Now, you take the Carnet, as I showed you before, and you add it to this drippage like that. All right? You smear it there. You smear it underneath that seam with a, when you make that corner and the whole thing gets smeared like that. A little bit thick, pretty thick. 
And all you need to do is, you heat up this surface, you burn the plastic like that, without touching the wall. I heat it up, and my towel's gonna be dirty. And I put it down right there, right there. And once you get, just like that. So you never have to burn Put the flame next to the wall and and at the end when you're done you can cover this corner like that okay you need a round nose trowel and now you do the same in the corner there and you cover it and the same you on so you get the idea about a torch down roof now Let's assume there's a hole or there's a cut and you want to make a repair. If you want to make a repair, let me say this area. I have a hole here. And let's say it's cut. I mean, it's going to be hard to take it up. Okay, there. There's a hole there. You can see how thick the membrane is already. It's almost, it's a, it's a very good system. So I'm going to make a repair. I'm going to use this black membrane. I'm going to show you how to make how to make a repair two ways. One with a torch. So if you're going to use a torch, you do it this way. See how it oozes out there? And that's what you want. How it oozes on the side. See, I'm going to do this side again. Make sure you heat it up enough. Okay? And then when you squeeze it down like that, you see that? How it oozes out there. Oopsie. Here comes the plastic. See how it oozes out? And that's it. All right. That's how you do it with a torch. Plastic on the... All right, now. Let's say you have a... You don't have a torch. And you want to do a repair. Okay. I'm going to do another repair and let's say the seam, the seam came apart. Unfortunately, I torched the seam properly, it's not going to come apart, but let's do this. The seam, okay, all right, let's say there's a seam that came apart, there's a hole and you need to repair it with you don't have a torch, okay? So I cut this open. This is stuck to the floor. I cannot take it apart. Or here's a very, very important thing, okay? There's plastic film on the back of this membrane. So you cannot stick this down with tar, with a car neck. There's plastic there, you cannot. So, before you can stick it down, you need to buy yourself a propane torch, like a plumber's torch, or anything that can have a flame, and you can burn this plastic off. Now I'm going to show you. Burn it off. You burn it off like that. You see how it changes? Look. See? It changed. See the plastic right off? There's no more plastic on there. Alright? So, then you want to put it down there and you mark the spot like that, like that. Okay? 
and you put your tar down. Again, you need to use the right stuff. You cannot use uh, Henry or Bulldog or whatever. So where's the area I'm on? Right there. And this is how you make a repair. Okay. That's it. You stick this down and you're done. Alright? That's it. That's how you make the repair on a modified by human roof. Alright, I have a huge favor to ask you. If you enjoyed the video and if this page that you are on on my site is helpful please write a comment at the bottom of the page and click on the stars at the top of the page this will help me in Google and I really need everybody's help thank you